Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing my second to last update for the HP Project Pan. This project goes until December, and we have one more update for November, and then the finale in December. So this is the second to last update. <laughs> I can do math sometimes. This project was created by the lovely Christina Chang here on YouTube. I will have her channel, her video, and then the big spreadsheet of everyone participating in this year's project linked in the description box in the first pinned comment down below. Ooh, so I have made some progress and I'm getting very close and I'm really solidifying the rest of the goals that I have for the rest of this project. So let's just go ahead and jump straight in. I'm gonna start with the most boring update, which is the palette that I put away for this month so I could focus on the other products. The green brown palette and literally nothing has changed since last month because I put this to the side. I really want to do a little bit more rotation in the in my everyday makeup basket for the rest of this year. And something that's really good is that this palette really got me more interested in wanting to reach for the rest of my Natasha Denona palettes, which is fantastic. I really should use those more. And I am on the fence. I really I really want to pan a Natasha Denona palette for my 2021 pan that palette. So I'm on the fence right now about which one I'm going to pick, but odds are I think I know the one that I'm going to pick. And it was after working with this palette and really getting to know the formula a bit more that helped me make that decision. So I'm very happy about that. And since I already hit my original goal for this project, I'm going to say that this is this is good and leave it at that. So that is one goal down. Let's move on to the highlighter. So this was actually pulled in because I finished the original highlighter, which was the Fendi Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighting Duo. I finished that one already and I'm just almost, almost there with this one. So here is all that I have left in the highlighter. I've been using this highlighter daily and I really think I can finish this entire thing by the end of this project in December. I do have to admit I've been wanting to reach for other highlighters, so I've been mixing this with other highlighters, but I have been reaching for this daily just so I could get the full use out of it by the end of this project. I am wearing it today, of course. It is honestly one of my favorite highlighters. I love the hell out of this thing. And yeah, we're getting close there. See, it's almost there. <laughs> and if I do finish this, it'll be the second full-size highlighter I have ever finished. So keeping on keeping on with this highlighter. Next, we have the palette that I was going to focus on in lieu of the Natasha Denona palette. This is the Collab palette, and I have been using the two green shades, so my goal is to hit pan on those two green shades. I've been using these almost daily. I've been wearing this look just about daily. I've been reaching for these two shades and then my two loose shadows, and then I've been really sw switching it up with whatever I wear on my lid. So that's kind of my go-to look. And I have not hit pan yet in those green shades, but I think I'm very close in the shimmer. So I'm hoping by the next update I will have pan in that shimmer shade, and then I'll just keep working on the matte green shade, you know, until we see some progress. <sighs> I'm just, okay, so the window above my AC unit, I turned it off. Well, it's not just an AC unit, it's an AC and a fan, so it is thankfully cold enough now that I don't have to keep the AC on full blast. But because I turned it off, I'm hearing like a buzz buzz, and I think it's a wasp, but I can't tell if it's inside or outside, and I don't, I don't want to go look. So we're gonna, just gonna sit here and ignore it <laughs> for now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it is editing Monica with an update on that wasp. So it, it was a wasp. It was inside the house. I hate bugs so much. So I, I literally threw a chancla at it and thankfully like I killed it. So I'm sorry, but if it was like a bee or like uh, any other, I don't know, nicer insect, I, I would like try to capture it and put it outside. But I, I don't, I don't mess with wasps. So it got killed and it got thrown away. So that's the update there. It was terrifying, but I did it. Last but not least, we have the two loose shadows that I've been using and I hit my goal on one of them. So here's my tracking notebook for the loose shadows. Of course, my goal at the beginning of this project was to use each one of them 40 times. I finally hit that goal with Evil Lurks, which is the dark green shade, and I'm almost at that goal for the other shade. I'm at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I only have to use the light green shade, see you Space Cowboy, 10 more times to hit my goal. And it's easy. It's gonna be easy. I'm so happy. Like, not only did I get more accustomed to using loose shadows, I get to experiment more and play more and wear like nice deep green grungy looks that I love so much, so I'm glad that I did this. And I don't think I'll have any problem hitting the goal for CU Space Cowboy by the next update, by the November update. So that is where we are. A nice super quick update for my HP Project Pan. I really want to focus on rotating my other projects, which is kind of why 
I'm not bringing in like I know a lot of people using this as a rotating project pan but I, I really want to rotate my products more I want to reach for more eyeshadow palettes for more highlighters so I didn't want to pick and keep adding on to this project especially since we only have two months left so that's why we're going to keep it there but I'm really happy with the progress that I've made so far and I think I've done a really good job for this year's HP project pan thank you guys for watching Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I cannot wait to see you in my next video Bye.